Hi, welcome to the course Right Sizing Online Learning. My name is Evan Bramer and I'm the Distance Learning Coordinator for the Lebanon Community School District in Lebanon, Oregon. And I just want to introduce to you uh, the purpose of this course, what we're hoping to accomplish through it, and what the product might look like on the, the far end of it. So let's first talk about what does what do I mean when I say right sizing. So when you right size something, what you're really doing is you're bringing it down or up to its appropriate best optimal size. Okay. And so uh, in terms of online learning, what we see is that there's this wide range of experiences for students. There are some uh, teachers that, uh, for whatever reason, have put a lot of course material inside their courses, whether it's on uh, on Seesaw, Blackboard, Canvas, whatever the learning management system is, but they've, they've kind of overdone it. And we, we hear reports, at least from our students, that uh, students are doing more work than they did when they were in the classroom. And that's one uh, one end of the spectrum. On the other end of the spectrum, are there are many courses which lack uh, basic standards or uh, the the content needed for students to uh, adequately learn from a distance. And so uh, just there's just not enough. And so you have too much to not enough. And so the goal is to right size it, to bring it to the optimum size. We're not in a normal learning situation where we have 180 school days with an hour or however many minutes per period that you can then uh, teach through your normal scope and sequence. And so we need to actually take a step back and say, how do we bring our scope and sequences, our lessons into the amount of time and the number of days and the learning situation that we actually are in, and then uh, pursue that with our students to really maximize learning. What's the goal? What's the goal of this particular course? Well, uh, I'm hoping that by the end of, of these lessons that you will understand uh, the need to narrow down your normal SOAP and sequence for online learning, uh, to show you an example of what that finished product could look like, and then some suggestions on, on really how to go about it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and define scope and sequence real fast, though I doubt any of us really need it to be defined, but that way we're all on the same page. So a scope and sequence is, is really a document which describes the skills and content a student uh, should have mastered by the end of their curriculum. And so with a course, and I use that term course very purposefully, whether again, regardless of what learning management system you are using, Canvas or Seesaw or whatever, a course has a definitive beginning, a definitive ending, there's curriculum in between. That curriculum is broken down into units, which are based on standards. Those units are broken down into lessons. Okay, Those lessons are broken down into activities, and those lessons have some form of assessment, formative, summative, whatever. Those uh, parts, those make up a scope and sequence. And so you might have different levels of a scope and sequence, ones that just have the standards and what time of the year you might be doing those in. You might have a scope and sequence that has the standards and also the units that those standards go into. You might drill down into uh, what are the actual lessons within those units even down to what are the level of activities that could be done inside those lessons or even what assessment pieces could be done. So there really is a wide range of uh, levels of scope and sequence. Uh, in, online, in online learning, we want to get as deep as possible as soon as possible. That's not realistic because we don't have endless time and we're all trying to teach and do our normal job as well as have families, et cetera, et cetera. And so really it's about getting as far as we can and then coming back to it and trying to go deeper. The deeper we go in that scope and sequence, the better we are going to be at teaching from a distance, at giving our students the tools that they need to be successful. So that's the goal of this course, is to, uh, is to understand why we need these drill down scope and sequences, how to get there, some suggestions, and really to hopefully come up with what that progressive order of lessons will be in the amount of time that we have. Thank you.